And now we're seeing some replays from the uh, helicopters. As we uh, watch uh, the descent of the Soyuz MSO-3, again, uh, this is a replay from uh, one of the uh, lead helicopters uh, in support of the uh, search and recovery forces. And an excellent view of uh, the soft landing engines firing just a moment or two uh, above uh, the landing site. The uh, report uh, from the search and recovery forces uh, was that uh, the spacecraft uh, uh, was uh, horizontal on its side. It was uh, placed upright uh, to enable uh, the Energia search and recovery personnel to begin to extract uh, cargo from uh, the spacecraft there's a view this again this is a replay just seconds after touchdown the uh, initial uh, recovery personnel on scene a good view of the descent module that uh, made its way from the uh, international space station to bring home oleg novitsky and toma pesquet Once again, uh, this is a replay of uh, the video that was shot at the landing site, uh, some of the initial video shot uh, minutes ago, uh, just after the Soyuz MSO-3 spacecraft touched down. A good uh, example of a Soyuz that is pulled onto its side by its parachutes being rolled into place uh, to enable uh, the extraction of the crew. One of the uh, Energia support personnel and technicians peering in uh, one of the portholes uh, to check out the crew. Again, this is a replay of video that was shot moments ago uh, at the landing site uh, just a short time after the Soyuz touched down. Uh, before this, uh, you saw an excellent view of the soft landing engines from one of the helicopters flying above the Soyuz as it uh, touched down at 9.10 a.m. Central Time. This is uh, an excellent uh, view of uh, some of the post-landing activities as uh, the uh, Energia uh, recovery personnel and engineers uh, take photographic documentation of the Soyuz vehicle wiping down uh, the hatch before they insert this hatch handle that will be uh, used uh, to open the hatch and begin the process of extracting the crew members. All of this occurred uh, just a few minutes ago. Oleg Novitsky and Toma Pesquet are inside uh, the inflatable medical tent nearby already as they uh, 
are being attended to in routine fashion by uh, Russian and uh, European uh, flight surgeons getting out of their Sokol launch and entry suits and getting into more comfortable flight clothing. And an excellent view of Oleg Novitsky, the Soyuz commander, in the center seat of the descent module, handing uh, flight uh, documentation and uh, systems books to the Energia recovery personnel. Toma Pesquet is to his left, just out of the field of view at the moment. Novitsky uh, returned home after uh, 196 days in space along with Pesquet. Novitsky now 340 days in space on his two missions. Поехали, поехали. Начинаем, начинаем.